So if you guys follow me on Twitter and if you watch my videos, you know that about two weeks ago I picked up a new face product for spring and it is the Estee Lauder Daywear BB Cream. I've really become a fan of Estee Lauder makeup in recent months. I've picked up a lot of products from them in December and I've just really fallen in love with the products I used so I knew I wanted to get the Estee Lauder BB Cream when it came out. So in this video I'm just going to obviously review the product first, just give you guys the basic information and then tell you my thoughts on it but stay tuned to the end because I'm going to be doing a demonstration where I apply the BB Cream and just show you my basic foundation routine using this product. So basically a BB cream is like a three-in-one product. It, give, it has like moisturizing properties in it. It also has protection. The Estee Lauder BB cream is an SPF 35. So I mean you basically don't even have to use a suntan lotion or anything if you were going to be using this product during the summer, which is what I plan to do because I always like to get a foundation with an SPF in it just to protect my skin because I don't like applying a million skincare products in the morning. That's kind of just annoying. So I just like using this because it's like an all-in-one type of thing. And then this also does give coverage. It doesn't give a lot of coverage so if you're a person who needs full coverage on your face when it comes to foundation I would probably suggest you using this just as like a primer and then applying another foundation on top but if you don't need a lot of coverage like me this is great just to use as your actual foundation so the Estee Lauder BB cream in particular it comes in two shades light and dark and obviously I'm the light shade and you might think that that's not like enough of a range for your skin tone and I actually looked on their website and there were a few reviews that were like I'm you know Asian or I'm really pale and the, the light shade doesn't work for me it's still a little bit too dark so you might want to take that in consideration if you have very very light skin I mean I'm very pale too but in the summer I do get a little bit of color and one of the things I noticed about this product is when I put it on I noticed that it kind of adapts to my skin tone when I put it in my hand which you guys will see when I do the demonstration it looks a little bit I guess like yellowy in my hand it has like a little bit of a yellow tone to it but when I put that on my face I noticed that that instantly goes away and sort of the BB cream kind of like melts into my skin and adapts to my skin tone so what I would suggest doing is just going to your Estee Lauder counter and just trying out the product beforehand just so you can see how it actually works. and if you are wondering how much product is actually in this little bottle because I know it looks a little bit tiny it's a one fluid ounce and I compare like my foundation this is one fluid ounce as well and I noticed that I've gone through about two bottles of my foundation so far the Chanel Vita Lumiere and this bottle will it'll last me about six months and then here is just a close-up of the bottle if you want to see it's really nice packaging very sleek very clean and then on the back it says your shade so this is just what the product looks like and then when you take the top off I mean it's just like a little squeeze out you just squeeze it out into your hands so just some points to make if you have acne prone skin or if you have oily skin this is an oil free product and I looked on their website and it, I have it like written down right near here it's dermatologist tested and it's non acne -genic. I'm not necessarily sure what non acne means but I'm assuming you know that this is safe for someone who has acne prone skin and it's not gonna really irritate your skin I don't really get pimples but sometimes I do get little bumps in my forehead and I really didn't notice that with this and I'm really bad and sometimes I don't even wash my makeup off my face before I go to bed and I didn't notice you know any type of breakouts or any problems like this and I actually have very dry skin I get eczema above my eyelids and um, on my forehead a little bit and I haven't noticed that at all so this definitely you know won't make you break out into dry patches and this does have very good moisturizing properties it does feel like a cre like a cream or like a like a suntan lotion when you put it on your face so if you're a person who really likes using skincare products that are actually like good for your skin like have vitamins and antioxidants in it then this would be a good product for you because this does have an antioxidant formula with vitamins in it if you look on their site and I'll have all the information down here it does have vitamin E and vitamin C in it. So this is good for your skin. Like it does help repair like damaged skin cells and you know like you're not putting something bad onto your face with this. I don't think you have to be worried about any type of sketchy chemicals or like weird stuff in a product. They, they have it all listed out on the Estee Lauder website so I would just definitely go check that out if you are interested in lear learning more about the formula and the ingredients. So I've been using this product for a little bit over two weeks now and here are just some of my personal thoughts and feelings about it. One of the first things I noticed is it does have a strong scent. It's a very florally scent. 
Um, like when I, I always start applying my foundation at my nose and I work the product out, I do notice a floral scent, but I like it. It doesn't bother me at all. It smells really fresh, but if you're someone who doesn't like scented problem or <laughs> scented products and you're really sensitive to smells, you might want to check this out or get a little bit of a sample first just to, you know, make sure it's going to work well. Another thing to take into consideration is this is a very thick formula. Like you feel, like when I put this on, I feel like I'm putting on a sunscreen. So if you're a person who likes thinner type of foundations and thinner types of creams, you may, I mean, this may not be a product for you. And another thing that I noticed with this product, which was like the big thing for me, like my one tiny little drawback, because I really do love this just all in general, but my one con, I guess, for this is I really like my MAC um, mineralized skin finish powder. It's what I use to set my foundation usually if I'm using my Chanel foundation. Here it is. I usually use the Chanel Vita Lumiere and I like to set it with my MAC mineralized skin finish powder and I tried setting my BB cream with my MAC powder and I noticed that my skin looked a tiny bit cakey. Like if you looked really close up on my skin I felt like you could see my pores really well and I just felt like the MAC skin finish was just setting into my skin. It just looked a little weird because usually I like my skin to look very fresh and I don't like looking like I have foundation on. But with the BB cream combined with a mineral powder, I really just, I didn't really like the look of it. It's a little bit nitpicky because you had to look really close up on my skin to see it. But just for me personally, I did not like that. So what I, how I do my makeup now using this product is I set it with a translucent powder. And I found that this is how I can achieve that flawless sort of no makeup makeup look. Alright guys, so now I'm going to give you a little bit of a demonstration. I'm going to show you how I apply this, the type of products that I like using it, and just basically my foundation routine using the Estee Lauder Daywear BB Cream. So you can use your BB Cream as a primer, like before you put on your foundation, or you can just use it as your foundation in general because it does have light coverage properties. Since I have pretty clear skin, I don't have a lot of problems with my skin at all, I am just going to be using this as my foundation. So I just like to put a little bit in my fingers like so. I don't really use a brush when I put this on, which is really nice because it just makes it so low maintenance. So I just like to start at my nose and then work the product out across my cheeks. And I, you really don't need a whole lot. And when you apply this, it kind of feels like suntan lotion, at least to me. And it does, I really like the floral smell of it. It's really nice. If, you, if you're not big on like scented stuff, I don't know like if you would like this or not because it does have like a florally type of scent, but I like it. I think it feels really nice. So I just put a little bit more on my fingers and I'm just going to use some for my forehead and then a little bit for my chin. And I just like it because I feel like it kind of melts into my skin, but it is kind of thick. So that's one thing you might want to take into consideration, like go to the store and you know put a little bit in your hand and just see how it feels personally to you or have a makeup artist apply it to you. So if you wanted to you could apply a foundation over top of your BB cream sort of using your BB cream as like your primer to your foundation but I just like using it as my actual foundation so I'm not going to be applying this today but what I'm going to do is go right into putting on my concealer and then setting my face with a powder. I'm just going to be using my Bobbi Brown corrector and then a little concealer brush like this and I'm just going to apply this to my dark circles underneath my eyes and then a little bit on my nose bridge just to cover up any sort of dark like grayness that I have underneath my eyes. And I like doing this with a concealer brush better than my fingers. Like I like to blend it in with my fingers but when I'm actually applying the concealer I like to use a brush just because it's a little bit more precise and also a little bit more sanitary because I don't like sticking my fingers into my concealer pan. But then like what I like to do is just pat it in with my ring finger like this. So I've tried out the Daywear BB Cream for about two weeks now and every day I used like a different type of powder and I just varied up my routine for how I use the BB Cream because I wanted to find the best way to use it. So I started using a translucent powder and this is just one by Laura Mercier. I found that a translucent powder and a lighter colored powder, not, not one that has any color in it and especially not one with minerals, I found that translucent powders work best with the BB cream. So what I like to do is just put the translucent powder in the lid of the container and then I just take a brush like this. You could take like a kabuki brush or you know any type of brush that you use for powders and I just swirl it like this and I, I just basically dust this all over my face and I feel like this helps set the BB cream and it just makes it look a little bit more flawless. I just find that this powder looks a little bit 
more finished than a mineral powder. All right, so I've just applied a little bit of blush and taken my hair down, and this has basically been like my go-to makeup look and my go-to foundation product ever since I bought it. I really like this product. I love that it has SPF in it. It's really sunny out now. You know, warm weather is here, and that is the time to protect your skin. So I think that this is a great spring summer product, especially for somebody who's looking for something with SPF in it. So I'm gonna have links down here where you can buy the BB cream. I know it's sold out in a lot of places, like on EsteeLauder.com, it's sold out in the light shade. So, but what I would really suggest doing is going to a counter at a department store, but call ahead first because I had to call um, two or three different department stores in my area and I finally found one that had it in stock. It would be nice if you guys could go to the store and just try it out to make sure it works with your skin first because it does only come in two shades. So I would just make sure that the shade really is going to work well on your skin and it's not going to be too light or too dark. And if I forgot to mention anything, please let me know in the comments below. I always look at the comments, so if you guys have any questions about the product or want to know more about my personal experience, feel free to leave a comment below and ask me because I'll answer them. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope that it was in-depth enough and you got a good idea of how I wear this product and how I use it, and I hope you enjoyed it. So my links will be below, my Twitter and my Facebook and all those other places where you can find me. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.